Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. Now in today's video guys we're just going to be discussing about the community and what we want to see and what I have seen people comment on what they want to see uh, within the next Forza Motorsport game coming out this spring 2023. So we're going to get straight into it guys, a few things that will be great to see in the upcoming Forza Motorsport. Now, more control of vehicle systems such as the DRS, KERS, engine modes and assist strength. Easier setups for custom races, making custom races like 24 minutes of Le Mans is fun, but trying to make the setup exactly how you want it, for example prototype or GT classes and the starting order of each of them. Limiting the cars, number of cars in each class, etc. is quite frustrating at the moment. The introduction of a roof view, as it has more connected feelings to the car than the chase cam, but more visibility than the cockpit. Camera FOV adjustments for Xbox and PC. More body customization options, however not the types that are commonly demanded like excessively wide body kits for cars that are way too low to the ground to be feasible for a track use. The stance is um, the stance that is being taken for the game is a built versus bought mentality, so it, necessarily, it is necessary for cars built from the ground up as are as capable on the track as cars made by a manufacturer. The options that I am wishing for are options that are staples at uh, grid track days like different size splitters, wings, tow hooks and roll cages. More customization for driver gear. It's a bit hard to express what you want your dream driver to look like when you're limited to a driver gear set helmet and suit. A quite unrealistic hope however is to have an in-depth customization of the driver gear. For example, choosing the type of helmet design, not the paint itself, but between helmets that align with the design styles, instead of being limited by predetermined driver kit. Furthermore, being able to completely design our helmet and suit from a white blank canvas to a masterpiece, it could either be achieved by using the system currently used on the cars themselves as paint jobs with primitive decals, etc. This could be a series introduction to a PNG importation system. So a system like this has been on the hot seat with the use of a decal creation tool in Horizon 5. But a legitimate system being available in-game would be an incredible powerful tool to the player. There could be a dedicated website where players could go to upload, uh, upload sorry, their logo to their account. And I often find myself being motivated to recreate a real-life design only to give up when I can't really replicate it in an incredibly intricate sponsor decal on the livery. This system would allow, let's say, non-pay-to-game uh, level painters to accuracy, accurately express how they want the car to look without being frustrated by the high entry bar when beginning. While this would be a tremendous undertaking to regulate the content being uploaded, uh, I believe it would be anything harmful uh, that may be uploaded could be created in the current manual decal making system anyway. Increasing the maximum steel steering wheel rotation from 90 degrees to 135, which is maybe a bit of a stretch, but you never know. Custom online lobby rooms. While the hopper system is great for getting in and out of races that you know will be set up in a certain way, the options and combinations available were quite limited. This system could be used alongside custom lobby room systems where players can change individual aspects of a room, whether they make it a casual open track meet to test out a tune or a 30 minute competitive multi-class race where a pit stop must be made. Custom grids, where you can choose where the player starts, the positions of the AI, the performance index of the cars of the AI, and the liveries of the AI. I look for the feature from the 360 games to return, when you could pick the exact cars the AI drove when making online lobbies, except it would be much nicer if you could do that for single player races as well, especially if you could have AI cars race in cars from your own garage as well. Uh, that way we could do races exactly how we want. Don't have tyre design correlated to performance, so any car you want should be able to have tyre lettering, white walls, red lines, etc. And it shouldn't dictate what tyre compounds they are. Ideally there will be options for walls, stripes, letters, etc. for any compound and the ability to go into paint mode and make them whatever colour you want to match with whatever colour exterior you want. Tyre designs are purely visual in real life, so let's keep it that way in game too. When using mirrors or looking behind you, when in the interior cameras, it'll be nice to see your car in the mirrors, as well as seeing the rear of your in uh, interior rather than seeing through your car when looking behind you. It'll also be great if you can rotate the camera in interior mode a full 360 degrees when racing rather than only about 120 before cutting to a side view again, which again sees through your car. With the new tyre models, the ability to have tyres pop based on wear or come off during bad crashes, especially open world race cars, would add a lot of realism. 
When using manual modes, or at least manual with clutch, the ability to stall your car just like in real life would add a lot of realism again to the manual experience. Not only that, but with the simulation damage on, bouncing off the red line and doing bad shifts should cause engine wear over the span of a race, just like in real life. All cars should be able to be slammed. The fact that cars at the lowest suspension still have a long, a long wheel gap when cars like the 55 Chevy at its lowest is practically scraping the ground makes no sense. It really should be possible for any car, just like it is in real life, to lower it or raise it as much as you want. As an endurance racer, I'd like to see things like tyre wear and damage applied to the AI cars as well, unlike in the Horizon franchises. And when painting cars, an option to keep factory decals on would be great. This is another thing from the 360 games era. Changing headlight tints from yellow to white to blue, etc., like in Gran Turismo 7, would be super simple and a really great addition to make. The ability to change exhaust tips as a visual upgrade would make a lot of people happy, especially JDM people. Once again, like in Gran Turismo 7, being able to make custom Forza Aero would be so useful as a field of 24 or more cars running the same wings and splitters gets really bland very quickly. The ability in free play to have all cars being driven by AI, including yours, would be nice so that you can make interesting races and kick back and watch them without influencing who wins by actively driving in it. So this may be a hot take, but I do think that automatic versus manual transmissions, ABS, traction control, ease of steering, etc. should be based on upgrades rather than difficulty settings. So you should have to buy a transmission swap to make a car automatic or buy ABS or TCS or steering upgrades, etc. to make an older car have those features. As someone who switches between the errors of cars quite a lot in races, having to um, update the difficulty settings almost every time I swap cars gets a little bit old, but at the very least, maybe have a difficulty preset where you can create, save and load depending on the car or race. Replay should have a camera option that simulates the angles you'd have on a real racing broadcast with higher up cameras that showcase more of what's going on and looks more realistic. Small tweak, but a lot of cars' stock tyres have that tacky Forza Racing flag design on the sidewall, so for anything older than the 2000s cars, it doesn't fit the cars at all. Could unmodified cars be given more accurate looking tyres? So the possible Forza Rally tyre sidewalls are significantly more accurate for older cars than the tyres many have from the start. So that's just a few things, guys, uh, a, a nice varied list of things that we'd like to see from the community uh, for this year's Forza Motorsport. But what is your dream wish list for features this year in Forza Motorsport? No matter how unrealistic it may be or how unlikely the devs will include it, let me know down there in the comment section below. What would you love to see that would make it your perfect Forza game? But that's it for me in today's video, guys. I did hope you enjoy it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you over in my next video, guys. So I'd like to thank you for watching. And I'll see you in my next one.